Hello, I am Sujoy and I welcome you to my new series of tutorials on curve fitting. This is my fourth video on curve fitting. In my first video, I told you about the basics of curve fitting. In my second video, I told you how to fit a straight line by curve fitting technique. And in my third video, I told you how to fit a curve for a quadratic equation. And today in my fourth video, I will tell you how to do curve fitting by graphical method. And also in my next video, I will tell you how to do curve fitting directly on this Casio FX and on ES scientific calculator. You can find out the values of A and B. Also, you can find out value of Y for given value of X. Also, you can find out value of X for given value of Y. Correlation coefficient, you can find out. So, all the things you can directly find out on the Casio calculator without doing the math or without drawing the graph. So, isn't it cool? To know more about the calculator features and many other exciting features, please watch my next video. Also, if you own this calculator, FX82 MS calculator, so I will make another video on this calculator also. There I will tell you how to do curve fitting on FX82 MS calculator. So don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel so that when I will upload my next video, you get an email. So let's start today's video on graphical method. So our question is fit a curve of the form y is equals to ax plus b for the given data. This is our given data set where values of x and corresponding values of y are given. And also find out y of 3.5. That means find out the value of y for x equals to 3.5. So let's proceed to the solution. y is equals to ax plus b is equation of a straight line. So our curve is a straight line. And y is equals to ax plus b is also represented as y is equals to a plus bx. This representation is followed by the Casio calculators. So if you compare both the representations, y is equals to ax plus b and y is equals to a plus bx. So you will get small a is equals to capital B and small b is equals to capital A. So I will explain this in my calculated tutorial video. Next definition of curve fitting. The process of finding the equation of the curve which best fits the given values and is most suitable for predicting the unknown values is known as curve fitting. So what is meaning of this? This means first we have to find out the equation of the curve which best fits our given values. Our given values are given in the question and is most suitable for predicting the unknown values. So here the unknown value is y of 3.5 which we have to find out. There is not any value of x called 3.5 on the table and also the corresponding y value is not given. So that is unknown to us. That we have to find out. So what we will do? First we will find out the equation of the curve. That is y equals to ax plus b in our question. And which best fits our given values. And is most suitable for predicting the unknown values. That is y of 3.5. It is known as curve fitting. So for graphical method. First we will draw all the points from the given data into a graph. Next, from that graph, we will find out the unknown values. So for x equals to 1, y is 2. And for x equals to 2, y is 4. So let's graph it. So here I have constructed a graph. This is the overview of the graph. Let me zoom in. So on the graph, first we will plot our first point. That is for x equals to 1, y is 2. This is called the x-axis, the horizontal axis. And the vertical axis is called the y-axis. The y-axis. So for x equals to 1, y is 2. And the intersection of these points is our first point. Next for x equals to 2, y is 4. Next for x equals to 3, y is 7. From the given data. And for x equals to 4, y is 9. For x equals to 5, y is 12. And for x equals to 6, y is 14. All the values we are getting from this table. So next we will draw a curve or a straight line in this case which will connect all the points on the graph or will connect maximum number of points. Here is our line starting from the bottom and going upward 
connecting maximum number of points and as you can see all the points are not on the line why it is happening i will explain it later so our graph is done let's find out the value of y for x equals to 3.5 from this graph or from this curve so for x equals to 3.5 this is 3 this is 4 and uh, this is 3.5 in between so let's draw a line which is drawn by dotted line and this will go upward it will intersect with our original straight line or our curve so the point which intersects with our original line with that point is connected to the y axis and that intersects at y8 so we can say for x equals to 3.5 the value of y is 8 so this was the graphical method of doing curve fitting so the summary of the graphical method for curve fitting is number one first draw all the points from the given data set onto a graph number two connect maximum number of points by a curve or by a straight line according to the question and number three find out the value of unknown from that straight line or that curve so these three steps basically summarizes the graphical method for curve fitting and next let me tell you some more concepts the curves are of different types this one is a straight line for y is equal to ax plus b and as you can see all the points are not covered or not touching the line they are scattered around the line and that's why this picture is called the scatter plot next is another graph y is equal to x square this is the exponential graph exponential means x to the power something and if x to the power is even number then you will get a shape like this and this is also another exponential graph where the x to the power is a odd number that if the x to the power is a odd number you will get a shape like this so next is correlation coefficient it's also called the Pearson correlation coefficient or the sample correlation coefficient it's represented by small r its range is from 0 to plus 1 for positive correlation that is upward line if the line is upward then the correlation coefficient is positive and it's from minus 1 to 0 for negative correlation that is downward line if the line is downward then the correlation coefficient is negative so why this correlation coefficient value is important because it tells us so many things number one it tells us whether our line will be upward line or a downward line next its value tells us how fit is our curve what is fitness fitness means if the correlation coefficient value is closer to positive one in case of a upward graph then we can say our line is touching maximum number of points all the points are fitting our line and if the correlation value is closer to minus one then we can say our line is downward and all the points are closer to the line or they fit the line well so the correlation coefficient value is the mathematical representation of the fitness of the graph if you are doing the graphical method you can easily visualize the fitness you can see whether the points are touching the line or not but if you are not doing the graphical method and is following any algebraic method then the correlation coefficient value tells us about the fitness so this is the end of the graphical method how was the video let me know in the comments below in my next video i will tell you how to do curve fitting directly on cache effects and on es scientific calculator so don't forget to subscribe to youtube channel so that when i will upload my next video you will get an email if you subscribe so thanks for watching see you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing